And there she goes. Four fish, 11 casts now. It doesn't get much better than that, all right? Let's be honest, guys. This bait catches fish. How's everybody doing today? If you guys are new here, my name's Nathan Speltz and I make fishing content all over the Midwest chasing after some very big fish. Today we're back on the Mississippi River once again chasing after some fish. I like the Mississippi River because you can catch just about anything. The main target species for today is going to be walleye and bass. And of course, we're going to be fishing with some very old fishing lures. I was at a garage sale the other day and I came across some really old lures and it made me think of some of the lures I've seen in my grandpa's tackle box. So I decided I'd buy some lures and we're going to try them out today because I want to see just how good can these old fishing lures be and are they any better than some of the newer lures that are made today. We're going to get some lures tied on and we're going to catch some fish. If you guys like content like this, feel free to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss an upload. At the end of the year, my goal is to hit 50,000 subscribers. If we can accomplish that goal, I will give away a brand new boat to one of you guys. So subscribe, it's free, it doesn't hurt you, and we're going to get started. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's go catch some fish. Alrighty. First thing's done, we got the waders on. I think for the heck of it, let's start out with the supersonic. My main goal for today is specifically do not lose any of these three lures. We're just fishing a little spillway today. We're gonna do some casts and see what wants to bite this. The reason I chose this spot is because you can catch just about anything. There is any kind of species you guys could imagine in the Mississippi River, and this is a spot to catch them. So you never know what we're gonna catch. I'm hoping for some walleye and bass, but we could be getting dogfish, catfish, pike, you really never know. Let's do some casts. Let's catch some fish on this thing. I'm gonna fish this lure for maybe 30 minutes to an hour, and then I'm gonna switch to one of the other ones. I wanna kinda cycle through these lures, see which one works better, and which one catches the most fish. And mainly, if I'm gonna lose any lure, I just don't want it to be this one. This is the one I care the most about. These things are extremely rare. It took me a long time to get my hands on one. I tried ordering them online, ended up just finding one at a garage sale out of nowhere. So I've been wanting to find one of these lures for quite some time. So I finally got one in my hands. I want to see how many fish it catches. Let me try something different here. I want to get down a little bit farther in the water column. So I might try one of the other baits. Give it a try, then we can always switch back to this guy. All right, we're gonna try a different bait here. It looks like it's a crankbait, so I'm hoping this thing gets down pretty far. I think the majority of these fish are hugging pretty close to bottom, so that lipless crankbait wasn't really doing it because I'm not getting far enough down. So we'll see if this makes any difference. Let's give it a try. Got him. Well, that did not take very long. This is the one fish I was hoping not to catch, but I'll take it. He didn't bite me off. That's a, that's definitely a plus. Ate it pretty shallow too. Look at that. A little pike right there. <laughs> Get you back in the water, buddy. And there she goes. I was really hoping that fish would not bite me off. That didn't take very long though. This lure actually works really, really well. It's got an amazing action in the water. That thing looks gorgeous. Yeah, three casts in <laughs> and we already caught a fish. This thing is insane. This bait works wonders. Let's keep reeling in and see if we can catch something else. We got a pike. I mean, this is a multi-species day. Let's see how many other species we can catch today. Fish on. There we go. Another one. This thing is working wonders. What do we got here? A little bass? They cannot resist this bait. Holy cow, that is almost back-to-back -back cast. What is that, one cast in between there? We've already got another fish. This bait is insane. There she is, guys. Not a monster by any means, but it's a second fish, and that is our second species, too. We're gonna keep doing some casts. I'd love to see a walleye. I'm sure a walleye would hammer this thing. There's not a doubt in my mind. I think the biggest difference with this bait and the first bait is that this one hits bottom, and it works just like a deep diving crankbait and just rolls across the bottom. Because I think the majority of these fish are hugging bottom very, very hard. So having a bait that gets down to bottom is key for catching fish when they're all sticking to bottom. We'll keep going. We've got bass, we've got pike. Now it's time to get maybe a smallmouth or a walleye. I wouldn't be surprised if we caught a dogfish or a sheephead. There's a lot of sheephead here. You know what? I think I might have another one of these in a different color. All right, I do have another color, so we're gonna try red. 
it should be a little bit more visible in the water. So therefore, hopefully, should catch some more fish. Let's see what this one looks like in the water. Same thing, deep diving, gorgeous looking color. I think the red is gonna be the best color right now, mainly because it looks like a crayfish. And a lot of these fish, especially on the Mississippi River where there is crayfish under every single rock, they're gonna be eating crayfish and this is gonna work amazing. I wish they made the eyes on this bait to be right there. So when I'm pulling it like this, it looks like a crayfish's eyes is scooting back. Which, I mean, it has these dots right here. Could possibly imitate that, but it'd be nice if the eyes were back here. It would look more like a crayfish. Fish on. This bait is insane, and it's a walleye. There we go. I'm telling you guys, old baits catch fish. Let's get you up here. <laughs> there we go. Nice little walleye. Here she is, guys. Show her off to you right there. Look at that. Hammered the bait. All right, let's get you right back in the water, buddy. We're not keeping any today. See you later, buddy. That is awesome. Third fish on this type of lure, and we've maybe done 10 casts total. All right, let's get this thing cast right back out. I love this color. I'm gonna have to try to find some more of these things. I'm actually really enjoying this bait. It works really well. I mean, it is, honestly, I feel like it works better than some of my newer baits I'm using. I don't know why more people don't use stuff like this. It catches fish, I mean, that is a fact. Another one. There we go. Okay, that is a huge pike. You bite me off, I swear, buddy. I'm not losing this bait. You need to take a chill pill for me. Thank you very much. Okay. You're not making this easy on you, buddy. There we go, and it's out. Whoa, all right, buddy. And there she goes. Four fish, 11 casts now. It doesn't get much better than that, all right? Let's be honest, guys. This bait catches fish. That is a absolute fact. How he didn't steal my bait, I wish I knew. I really do. I was almost sure right there I wasn't gonna see this thing again. I'm just having a very lucky day with these pike. All right, we've got the pike, walleye, bass. Next is smallmouth. Let's see if this bait can catch us another one. It's crazy how well this thing works, it's just crazy. I think it has a lot to do with the color too. It imitates a crayfish really, really well with the red. And uh, I would guess the majority of these fish are chowing on crayfish right now because I have seen a ton of crayfish coming out from under some of these rocks. Another one. You bite me off, Pike. Let go. As much as I love catching Pike, it's just such a worry that they're just gonna bite my line. Let's get another cast out here. And let's try to catch something other than a Pike, maybe? As much as I love those fish, they're gonna bite me off one of these times. They always do. Every time I have a nice, expensive lure I just bought, a pike steals it from me. 
it's like they just know. I'm really hoping for a smallmouth. That's kind of my main hope right now, is to get one on this. What do we got for a depth right here? Much better. I haven't really thought how I'm gonna get down though. It was a lot easier getting up. Yeah, I didn't really think that one through now, did I? Back to land we go. Got him. There we go. Get over here. Another little pike. They just love me. Thank you for not biting me off though. I do really appreciate that. What's up? Pike. Yeah. I'm just surprised to not bite me off. That's all I care about. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I got four forties that week. It was a pretty fun, fun week. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah, there's some big ones I've caught here too. Nothing close to that size, but I mean, 30 inches, 30. Yeah, yeah, I caught a bunch that day. And uh, it's been pretty good here too. Got him. There we go. What do we got here? Just don't be a pike. Oh, that's a nice walleye. That's a really nice walleye. There we go. That's a good walleye. What a beautiful, beautiful walleye. I'd say it's breaking about 21, 22 inches. An absolutely gorgeous fish on that bait right there. That is awesome. What a beauty. Let's get her back in the water. There she goes. That is awesome. Just unreal. Who would have thought this bait would catch so many fish? All I'm saying is if you guys got one in your grandparents or parents tackle box and they're not using it, just give it a try and you might catch some big fish. Let's get right back at it guys. Alrighty. That is awesome. Gorgeous fish on this bait. I'm just so surprised. I mean, honestly, this crankbait works just as good, if not better than some of the expensive ones I've bought recently. It just catches so many fish, they absolutely love it. I would never have thought it would work this good. I was kind of expecting today just to catch a few fish here like I usually do, but now we are hammering them. We're gonna keep on fishing for a little bit longer, see if we can maybe catch one more fish and get out of here. That was a big fish. He followed me all the way. It looked like a big walleye. Fish? There you go. Nice. <laughs> walleye! There you go. That's your first one. Okay, bring him up here. I'm gonna hook him. Nice. It's your first walleye. Congrats. Do you want a picture with them? No, I don't have to. Touch them though. Come on. 
There you go. Give him a kiss. Come on. That's your first walleye. Nice job. Just gonna real straight do a quick pop. Real straight do a quick pop. One of these different techniques is gonna work. Oh, that was a fish too. Something just hit it. A lot of bait fish following it too. Let me get it right back to where it just was. There we go. There's a dog. And he's off. Followed it all the way in and just ate it. But didn't stay on. That was a good dogfish too, holy cow. I'm doing a few more casts and I'm gonna get out of here. It's about to storm on us really hard. But you guys can kind of tell by the weather change, it is about to rain a whole lot tonight. And it's gonna start here in a few minutes, so I'd like to get out before it starts raining if that's possible. Last cast. Okay, well maybe like, I'll say that about 10 times, but I'll try to keep it to only 10 last casts today, instead of my usual 50. Okay, maybe 15. I'll see how today goes. All right, now actual last cast. Okay, now actual, actual last cast. Came in shallow, didn't eat it. Well, I just saw a fish, so I have to do another cast now. Man, I can't believe that. I'll do one more, just for good measure, just in case he saw it the first time, he didn't want to eat it. You always gotta do the second, second, last, 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 second, last cast. Can't forget that one. That one always has a fish. Oh man. All right. I guess we'll. Oh, whoopsies. My hand just kind of slipped there. Okie dokie. Oh, okay. One last one. All righty. Let's go. We're out of here. Ready to go, Emma? All right. We'll get out of here. Have any more luck over here? You caught three? All right, I should probably do one more cast then. Supposedly there's a lot of fish in this area. I should probably do. I'll probably do a couple casts over here. Why not just do one more cast and I'm getting out of here. Yeah, let's get one more cast in here. Alrighty, we're gonna call it a video here today. I hope you guys did enjoy. It was fun, only a couple hours of fishing, but we did really, really well fishing these super old baits. Like I said before, if you know somebody who has some of these baits in their tackle box, they're not using them, give them a try. People always think you gotta buy the newest, most expensive bait, but you don't. These old baits still work just as well, if not better, as some of the newer stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna get out of here, get started editing on this video, and have it out for you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.